All right, well, number one, thanks, everybody, for being patient, for, for getting here early, for, uh, for just being uh, here to listen to some great speakers. My name's Bruno Turkley. I will just be very brief up here. And so we're just going to jump right in here. I'm going to just kick it off with a quick little demo. How many of you are actually new to jQuery at any level? So there's a handful of you that maybe need a tiny bit of a leg up, and I've got just a few minutes to do that. So I'm just going to go here. I'm using a Visual Studio. There is a free Express edition. So I'm just going to go out here and add an HTML page. And uh, this page is going to be pretty, pretty boring and blank, especially after I add some very primitive code here. So let's add some code in here. It's going to be a, a basic uh, data table. So here's a little boring uh, table. I'm going to view it. You're not going to be impressed with this table. It's just a, a data table list. Uh, many of you might recognize the, uh, the DTs and the DLs, a data list. So the question becomes, how do we kind of spice it up a little? Well, I know I can do some work with, with styles. So let's paste this guy in here. A few, um, some basic styles. So it's going to look a little bit better. Not that impressive. Not unless jQuery steps in the picture. We haven't touched jQuery just yet. That's coming up. It's a little bit better. How many of you heard of the accordion effect? So many of you that haven't heard it probably know there's a plug-in that you can just put right in, and it's going to be very easy. I'm going to kind of do it manually by hand, just so the beginners can kind of see some of the stuff here. So I was chastised once for not putting my JavaScript at the bottom. So I'm going to do that this time. I'm going to put it uh, where it belongs. And you can see I'm downloading it from one of the CDNs. There's uh, jQuery itself also has the latest version. You may not know this, but Microsoft has completely changed to um, jQuery internally with all our tooling. So here we have a little bit of script I'm going to include here. And I'm going to put some JavaScript right below here. So I'll tab in that and start putting some JavaScript. For those of you that do jQuery, what is that one event that you probably always want to start writing code for um, that, it, that really tells you the DOM's been loaded, that everything's in place and you can start doing code? The ready event. So I'm going to plug in a ready event. We want to do a few things with this accordion. We want to essentially um, go in here and collapse or hide all of them, all the DDs except for the first one. That's one of the first things we want to do. So what we're going to do is go down here to our script code where this ready event is living and basically tell it to um, hide some stuff. So I'm going to just basically go um, JQ hide, tab, tab. And the selector, if you may have seen during the demos, is simply what is it I want to hide? And I want to hide the DDs that is not the first one. And so that's the syntax to do just that. Hide everything but the first one. Hide all the DDs but the first one. So if I run this now, hopefully, they'll all be uh, collapsed except for the first one. So indeed, that seemed to do the trick. What I want to do next is if I click on, say, day trips, what's the goal there? Slide the visible one up and slide down the one I just clicked on. That would be the effect of the accordion. So I need a click event in here, and I'm going to code that up next. So I'm going to say JQ click, tab, tab. And the selector in this particular case is the DT, the uh, data table anchor. If you look up here, basically I'm saying hide the visible uh, DTA. Right? That's what this guy here says. If you click on a DTA. So after you do the click, you also want to make something uh, visible as well. So um, what I'm going to do here is define a slide up method to do that. And what is it I want to slide up? The, basically the visible one. That's the selector for that one. And then it gets a little tricky who I want to slide down. So essentially, assuming I click on day trips, I want to basically slide that guy down. So I want to go up to its parent which is the DT. If I click on the anchor, the parent is the, the DT, and the next one is DD. That's the one I want to slide down. So I need to go to the parent, the next, and slide that down. And that's what I'm going to do with, the, with this script next here. 
whatever I click on is the this, right? And then I'm going to say parent, and then the next one from the parent. So let's review. I'm going to, as soon as we're ready, we're going to hide everything but the first one. But when I click on a DT, I'm essentially going to slide up whatever's visible and slide down what's next. Now I can put slow here if I want to make it kind of cool. So I just put the slow within quotes here and give it a shot. So that's pretty much a little accordion effect. Not the most ground shaking thing here, but essentially what I wanted to introduce you to is that once you include the jQuery library, it's very, very beautiful to write this code, right? You've all read the book, Beautiful Code. It's all about nice, clean, readable syntax. I think that is my favorite part of jQuery. That's my time, everybody. Thank you.